Booby tooby. Well, I decide I'm going to paint another Fred painting, but this time I'm calling it Christmas Fred. I have an idea of how I want it to look in my head, but yeah, it doesn't really turn out that way. So let me move back my little Christmas doodads I got, because I'm going to use this other plate I have. I cleaned this one differently, but I think it kind of affected the gesso sticking to it. You might be able to tell why. First, I'm going to put some tape on it to see if this will work. And there we go. And now the gesso. And I had a heck of... Look at that. You can see it's not sticking to it at all. I spent a while trying to cover up them bubbles and everything. And I think last time I did one of these, I washed the plate with soap and water, and this time I used rubbing alcohol, so... Maybe that made a difference. Okay, I did another coat trying to even it out. And that's how it looks. Now I'm using my cream colored. I actually mixed a little gesso into this, hoping to give it a little bit of a tooth. Because I'm going to use my acrylic pins to draw out the Fred. Actually, Fred's I'm doing two of them. One green, one red. Christmas, get it? And did another coat going a different direction. And the tape came off easily. That worked really nice. And now I'm going to draw the Freds on. I had a little trouble with that. See, I'm going to use this little pencil. Yeah, you can see where the paint came up. I had a problem with these when they finished. Yeah, I should have used a liner brush and some green paint because I had a heck of a time with this green marker. It must stick. Yeah, I wasn't too thrilled with how these looked. I think my three-year-old nephew could have drawn them a little better. The red one turned out a little better. It stuck better to the paint. That's why I added the gesso into it. I thought it would give it two so the markers would stick to it. Yeah, these markers are weird. Some of the colors were just fine on this paint, on the light colors I have, and others... Won't work at all. Blue won't work. I trouble with the green. Black works fine. Red works okay. Yeah, I tried touching up now. See? I don't have nearly the problem I did with the green one that I with the red. Uh, dee 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 dee. Don't nearly have the problem with the red marker that I had with the green. Yeah. I'm not liking how the drawing went, but with the paint coming up, I didn't think I could fix it. Okay, now I'll do my little lines and everything. And I even had trouble with this one. Maybe I couldn't even get it to do dots. And the eyes. No problem with the silver. And just doing the eyes, doing them, doing them, and realizing I did them crooked. And I decided I needed some tongues. So I'm doing the gold for the tongues. That works fine too. I think I should have done a little curve in them tongues now that I look at it. We're done short. Oh, now I'm going to do dots in what are usually the traditional Christmas like colors. So purple. I have to admit, I wish I had done these a little bigger. Okay, what's the next one? With the camera, blue. See, I like how the bigger blue dots look. And after about the third marker, I realized I could just poke down on this, because this is a plate, not a canvas. So the marker won't go through it. Okay, it's not blue. Pink. I didn't want to do red again since I did one of the lizards in red. Okie dokie dokie do. And that's where I realized I could push down on it. Okay, it's not pink. 
this next one yellow yep I'm not a big fan of this yellow marker it goes on very streaky but for doing dots it works fine What's funny is that giant yellow one in the center there actually didn't like go down as it dried it. Stayed lumped up. Okay. And there. Yep. I think my nephew could have done that. Also realized I had it upside down there. 